Well, I think this is all pretty pathetic stuff from the Labour Party, of course, still desperate to try and insist that they don't want to rejoin the EU. Of course, they're led by Keir Starmer, who is right on the hardcore end of the Remainer spectrum, as was David Lammy, who, of course, would become Foreign Secretary if there was a Labour government after the next general election. In terms of uh, the language being used by the Labour Party uh, directed towards Brussels, it's been described as love blooming. And of course, Lamy's previously talked about the EU being the number one priority for Labour foreign policy. The Labour agenda basically seems to be to do a whole series of deals with the European Union that move the UK closer to Brussels. You've got talk of a new farming deal, talk of a UK-EU security pact. You had that migration deal with the EU being proposed by Labour and Keir Starmer pledging basically major rewrite of the UK-EU deal. That's all been followed up by this weird sort of talk that after a very, very bitter divorce, Britain will start dating the European Union uh, if Labour gets to power. Uh, the likes of uh, Lee Anderson, not exactly impressed with this from the Labour Party. And you've actually got Lee Anderson there saying that Labour will put the UK up for sale. That make no mistake, on the first day of a Labour government, the UK will be up for sale with the EU lined up for the first viewing. And of course, you've got uh, Labour MPs all talking about trying to push the UK closer to the European Union. So as much as Labour try and downplay a rejoin agenda, I think it's pretty clear that they want to move the UK much closer uh, to the EU. Well, this all being driven by people, of course, who try to stop Brexit. Let me know what you make of all of that in the comments uh, below though, guys. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.